What's up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. It's another creepy robot. Why are, why is it that only Asians right now, Chinese people, are building lifelike robots? Because they're lonely and the guys are just not getting married. That's it's, it's what I'm It's guys, thinking. it's like these techie guys. Yeah. Like, they're, literally, they're building I, humanoid robots. I, I'm gonna say this and it's not very PC, but I'm gonna say okay. it. Okay. Because I feel like this is kind of like either a subconscious thing or whatever. Okay. Literally, I mean, we know there's an epidemic of like there's not enough women in China, and a lot of single. There's a lot more single guys than girls mm -hmm. because there's a population differential, yeah. and also it takes the guys a lot of money to get married. Right. And because some of the guys are very introverted, so I think they're literally channeling that loneliness into building these female robots. Because last week we just saw a ScarJo robot. ScarJo life like yeah. ScarJo robot. Now we see this robot called Jia Jia who look at her I mean she she looks pretty real she looks like a real person yeah the, she me. looks like I a real say, person I never see these guys building a guy robot that's what I'm saying <laughs> hold on I never on. see a robot of like Ryan Gosling <laughs> yo forget not even Ryan Gosling I mean if I'm a dude I mean, why wouldn't you build like a your best friend robot? You know, like build a robot that's your friend. Go play catch. Go play basketball. Robots can't catch. What, dude? Dude, I'm just saying, like as a child too. Like if I'm a kid, I, I mean, I don't want to. You know, I want to play with the dude. I want to go out that's and have I'm some saying. fun. When you, when you're not a kid anymore, you grow up to be a lonely dude. You're gonna build a female robot. I have to absolutely agree with you. And here's my theory. Here's my support theory on that. Right. When I was a kid, um, I I was a very good artist. Mm -hmm. What did I like to draw? female characters because I wasn't lonely but look a lot of guys guys if you're a guy artist you know what I'm talking about what's your favorite type of things to draw like like anime characters that are women now it's just that if you're Asian and nerdy instead of drawing you build robots this is crazy and, th and this the creep factor doesn't end first of all I mean not to be weird about this. Uh-huh. That's an attractive robot. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you had to say it. Not to be weird about you it. You said Somebody it. Somebody has to say it. Mike said it. That's an attractive robot. It's okay? not an ugly robot. It's, it's, it's a, look, of all the robots built so far, she is the most attractive I, that I've seen. No, I think the Scar Joe one is, is oh my God, more attractive. No, no, no. I'm not, not not because it's a, no. I'm just saying like that one was. More, I mean that one. I feel like this is yeah. like this is like a real. She looks like a beautiful woman. So. Yeah. The creep factor goes on because, so when he talks to her, she does all these girly things. Whereas um, she'll say, uh, "Yes, my lord." Where in Chinese is yeah. Zhuren, which is basically my master, my, my, master, my owner. Hello. Hello, Zhuren. Like really, guy? That's when the rabbit was out the bag right there when you programmed this this. Robot, you know, cyborg female to say that. I, I feel like he forgot to change the, the program out. <laughs> like, he had his own program, which is like, yeah, and she says, Yes, my lord, what can I do for you? Um, maybe that's a cartridge that was supposed to be meant for his own, because he should have put in one for the public. Like, hey, everyone, my name is Jaja, what can I do for you guys? Instead, is, Yo, my lord, turns it on. Hey, my lord, I'm here, what can I do oh, for you? And then, and then when he tries to take a picture of her, she, she becomes shy. She says, Oh, that angle makes my face look big. Like, this is literally this guy programming his fantasy into this robot. Um, like, that's his girl. He's like, I want a girl who's shy, calls me master. Like really do. <laughs> you know, we joke we we joke about the robot. I first of all guys, when you guys watch us, if you guys have been watching us, we've been around here for a month now on this channel. We talked about the robot apocalypse a lot. It's not a joke when I talk about it. I really do think that the robot apocalypse is coming. Well, well, let me let me tell you what I think is gonna happen with this stuff. All right. Okay. So the robots is not gonna end. This is the no. beginning, right? This is the beginning. So so the robots are gonna become more and more lifelike and feel more and more lifelike. Because I know there's things they could do to like make a robot feel like real. No, no, they, no, person, no. They right? can already because they have still um they have silicon skin. Right. So when they become more and more intelligent yes. and feel more lifelike. Do you not think there are people like this gentleman right here who are like, I'm marrying a robot? Because we already got a guy in like in like Japan or China or whatever, this is like five years ago, yeah. who married a cartoon character. You got people like, this is, I don't know about this, but I, you know, it's kind of funny. They're dating those those pillows. Yes. Those Japanese those, that's pillows. That's a real right? thing. Yes. That's a real thing, right? Yes. Yes. So there's already people like 
dating and marrying these things, <sighs> what's stopping them to be like, you know what? I'm marrying a robot. So then the robots are more ingrained in our lives because at, a, at some point you're not gonna be able to tell like, is that your wife yeah. or a robot? Right. N not only that, but I'll be walking down the street eventually like, there's just robots. Yeah, I, I and, don't I don't know. When they're in your lives, yeah. you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna be like, we need to invent a robot oh, that can have kids. God, I can't, no, like, dude. We need to invent a robot that can have kids. And then you're gonna have kids with a robot that's like half cyborg. And then all the robots gonna get together one day and be like, you know what? We're ingrained in their lives. We're, to help humanity overcome death and old age, we need to turn them into us. And that's where they walk around going, like resistance is futile. You we have been be assimilated. assimilated. You're, you're already like, you're already making me like, I'm just like, this is what's gonna happen. I re I, re the signs are there. That's the signs are there. It's gonna happen. Here's the one thing that I'll tell you guys right now. This is the only thing that it's missing right now, which is artificial intelligence. Our which, actual- Which is becoming better and better. Which is becoming better and better. It's not there yet. No. These robots, they're not artificially intelligent. They are programmed. Yeah. So they are programmed to respond. I just watched the movie and this movie, it basically basically shows you what's gonna happen to humanity. It's called Ex Machina. Mm -hmm. have, have you heard of this? No. You you heard of it? No. It's, it was super, it came out no. a couple like a couple years ago. It, no. it was like the new robot movie. I haven't movie. seen it. It's, okay, you guys might have seen it. It is basically about an artificially intelligent robot. Mm -hmm looks just like this silicon skin mm -hmm. and and basically the guy not an asian guy in this case weird i don't know uh he builds all these robots the the robot um is artificially intelligent it kills the humans the two the the builder and the tester and the, and the movie ends when it walks out into sorry spoiler or whatever i said it too late it walks out into life into the real world mm -hmm. movie ends that's what's gonna happen well, it's gonna kill this guy. Maybe we should just, uh, you know, kill this robot right now. Yeah, but we can, because anybody can build a robot now. You can build a robot. You uh, can well, download. Maybe, maybe that's how humanity will end. But <sighs> let us know your opinion on whether this robot is uber creepy or not, and let us know your thoughts about the robot apocalypse. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.